Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 483. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 481 to 483. Hey, in this trick here, we just want to see an odd difference between sorting and filtering. I have one little data set here with some dates and down here. Here's the deal. What if we wanted to sort and bring all the Monday records up to the top? There just is no way to do it. Now here's the thing, sort, when it comes to dates, uh, dates are serial numbers. When we type in a date like this, what Excel really has underneath is the number of days since uh, December 31st, 1899. So those are days, that's for date math and stuff. Control Z to undo that, right? Sort sees those serial numbers, so there's no way to bring it up to the top, at least not that I know of. The only way I could think of is if we did something like this. I have this set up as a table, control T to make it like a little database. If I do a formula right here equals text, text can take a date, cell reference to the left comma, and if you format it, custom number format, custom number format for day, show me the whole day from a serial date is in quotes, MMMM. -M -M. You have to put it in quotes for the format text in the second argument of text. So if I control enter, oops, that's, not, that's the wrong one. Notice when I control enter, that's a feature called auto populate. I can come up here and change this um, to a day. And then I'm going to change, edit this. It's not MMM. M is month. It's D D D D D D D. That means show me the day. Now watch this. This is um, a feature of t of the table in 2007 and 10. Control Enter, and it repopulates. You can turn that off right here with this. You could say stop automatically creating calculated columns. But now we could sort, right? We could say sort. Uh, whatever, and then all the Mondays would be together. It is alphabetic. Alphabetic. If you um, uh, did a custom sort here and you had a, a a list, a custom list that showed Monday first, then Mondays would be up the top. But anyway, that's the only way I can think of with sort. But watch this. Filter is totally different. I'm going to format this whole column. Click on the top column, Control Shift Down Arrow. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut for format cells, control one. And I'm going to say number, custom. And this is where you can uh, format the surface of the spreadsheet. The serial numbers will st still be there underneath. All right, so I'm going to do that D, day, day, day. Right, and you can see the format uh, uh, emerge as you uh, type in your custom format. D is for day, M is for month, uh, Y is for year. I'm going to click OK. Now, remember, if I were to remove all this number formatting, Control Shift tilde, or general formatting, the serial number is still under there. But watch this. Filter can see the serial number or the formatting. And that's unique because most formulas never look at formatting. Let's first uh, see if we can um, do a date filter. And I'm going to come up to Equals. and then this is a custom filter, and I'm going to say Monday. Filter's different than sort also because it'll hide all the other records. Sure enough, it does see formatting. That is so amazing. Now I'm going to get rid of this and watch this. It'll also see serial numbers. I'm going to click down here, and notice underneath it still is reading the actual day. So I'm going to click unclick those, and maybe I wanted to see January 14th, 18th, and 20th. So it still has the ability to see the serial number, right? Even though there's formatting on top. I've always found that, I'm going to control Z there. I've always found that quite amazing that filter sees either formatting or uh, the number underneath. Now you could use this for month. What if you had, say, a, um, a data set with bank records, right? And you wanted to see just February or March something. So it could be a month with a MMMM. All right, so sort, see serial numbers only, text function if you wanted to do it that way, and then filter sees serial numbers or formatting. All right, we'll see you next trick.